Hello everybody, uh, it's your teacher, Mrs. Fox here, here to give you a lesson in cuntiology. Cuntiology, you may ask, what is that? And it's just the study of being cunt, serving cunt, having cunt, um, just being that, that femme. I had a really good weekend, my mom just moved. She moved out of the crusty, dusty suburbs into her like beautiful little dream home. So I'm so happy for her. I'm truly the son my parents never had, even though I have an older brother and an older cousin. They called my fucking ass to come move all the boxes on moving day and lift up all my stepdad's plumbing, plumbing tools, you know. I was there. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I've been really obsessed with eating uh, this place down the road called California Sandwiches. I'm so dumb. I was like, do they have California Sandwiches in the States? Like, bitch. California. And while the name might be misleading, the Toronto foodie favorite has nothing to do with the American state, but everything to do with the success of an Italian family that came to Canada in the late 1950s. Oh yes, I remember. So. I was getting ready today, so I was like doing my hair and I ran out of hair oil, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna use some WD-40 on this bitch. Like it's silicone spray, it's lubricant, it's gonna do what I want it to do. Bitch, that's just machine oil. Um, but to, I don't know, the WD-40 be smelling like vanilla. If any of you handyman and or people who've had creaky ass doors can relate to the that shit smelling like vanilla, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go get some beautiful California sandwiches, you know, and yeah, that's, that's my day. <laughs> I make no secret that one of my favorite things about coming into Naked News is the fact that I get to be naked at work. Um, though this past weekend I was actually paid to wear clothes. It's the boy I'm talking to. I was paid to wear clothes this weekend, um, which I think is kind of funny. And I made a joke about it on Twitter or X or whatever you want to say, and nobody saw it. Like, nobody picked up on the joke. Like, I got paid to wear clothes today. Just crickets. I can't even get mad because I really like this boy. And it's my own fault for bringing the phone in. But either way, um, today's show was a lot of fun. I got to work with both. Back to my weekend, I got to walk for a designer that I've walked for actually in the fashion industry for the last 10 years. And their clothing's on the way to London, England. Their clothing is on the way to London, England for uh, a fashion week down there. Okay, so I just had to come in here today to drop a PSA, okay, to all the ladies that um, work in the studio. I've had it up to here already. I am done with the snail trails everywhere, okay? I understand that we can get wet and we can get creamy and our down there's might do something different than everywhere else in our bodies. I get it, girls, okay? I totally get it, but we have to do better. We have to do better, okay? It's a sisterhood in here, and I don't think anybody appreciates sitting on the next woman's snail trail. So I'm jumping on here, and I am telling everybody that works in the studio, all the females that walk around here with no panties on, please, just take a look back when you get up off the seat and make sure you didn't leave any evidence behind, okay? No bodily fluids left behind. <laughs> Anyways, done ranting about that because I just, it was a huge snail trail. Like, it was like this long, you know what I mean? It was a big one, a big, wet, white, creamy stain that should have never been there. Ugh, it wasn't mine either. <laughs>